a huge, huge honour uh, to, to be here uh, giving you a, a quick uh, guide and, and guided tasting through some of the great whiskies uh, of the world uh, in this really quite awesome space. Distillation that's taking place in America. Uh, there are about, I don't know, 250, well, I should know, I've written a book about it. There's 250 distilleries uh, in, in America at the moment making whiskey. But they might not primarily or, or only make whiskey, but you know, a huge number of distilleries are now playing around with whiskey. They're young. Give them time, guys. You know, it takes time to sort, to sort out your whiskey style. You know, uh, we in Scotland, you know, uh, we've had like a couple of hundred years to perfect it and you know, fine tune it, etc. These guys are starting from scratch, so so don't dismiss them immediately if the first thing you try is, is quite young and quite vibrant. Uh, give them time and support them because as as our century moves on, the, the importance of the local is going to become increasingly vital to us. You know, we really will be celebrating what immediately grows around us and whiskey and beer and wine and foods are going to be very, very important and, and it's great it adds to the diversity of, of what we have available to us. Whiskey has moved beyond its old traditional boundaries of Scotland, Ireland, North America and a relatively recent arrival in Japan. And now almost every country in the world where it is legal to make alcohol uh, has a whiskey facility of some sort. And so I went to my publisher and said, you know, last year, I went, might we think about a second edition? And she went, I'll think about it, being a publisher, you know, I'm not going to commit. Uh, but, you know, go away, uh, do some research, how many new distilleries have opened in, in intervening years? I came back with, with a file about that thing and went, that's what's opened and that's what's going to be opened by the end of this year. She went, okay, do it. Uh, because whiskey is on fire around the world. Uh, so many really, really exciting new distilleries are opening up and so many exciting new possibilities for whiskey are opening up. It's no longer just the case that people are following the, the Scotch and Irish template or, or the, the bourbon template. Uh, people are looking to make new styles of whiskey. They're asking themselves, what is whiskey? Well, I, mean, I, I can tell you what whiskey is. For me, whiskey is a oh, legal definition. It's a cereal-based distillate. It's non-neutral. In other words, you can taste it from cereal. That has been aged in casks, predominantly oak casks, but other people, some people are using chestnut, etc. That's all it is. It's made from cereal. So, if you're a distiller and you've got rye growing around you, use rye. If you've got spelt, use spelt. If you've got oats, use oats, etc., etc. If you've got quinoa, if you're in the midst of a huge field of quinoa, waving gently in the breeze, distill it. 